Well, welcome back to Adventure Buddies. Tonight, I'm just sort of taking a little drive around Troy, Ohio, and uh, I thought I'd show you a few things, and I decided to stop here. This is one of the old uh, train stations when trains were really running quite a bit, so I thought it was sort of cool. So I thought I'd stop here, and I'll take some uh, video as I go. Um, I'd like to do one out on the bike trail sometime because that's sort of cool, but I think it's fun to get out and ride your bike and just have fun. You tend to forget about that when you get uh, older, about how much fun you had when uh, you were a kid. So, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So here's the uh, old station, a little closer up and uh, it's not being used right now it just sort of sits here i guess it's part of csx but train tracks are right over here trains don't tend to run too much through this section of troy anymore but i just thought i'd sort of show you where it is i don't know there's a pile of stuff there so that must be to hold tracks down yep but here's uh, a little more of it and uh, that's just around the back so I'm going to jump on here and just sort of go around the other side a little bit just thought I'd show this to you Here's the other side, and uh, let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, there's the back. It's all cool. It's too bad places like this just tend to go in disrepair. So on to the next one. Who knows where we'll go. As I'm looking around, this is actually part of the road that I took when I did the uh, view from above. So I'm not quite as far down as <coughs> as uh, the other house was, or what I assumed it where it was located. But lots of uh, factories down this way, and. Uh, so I'm sort of heading back into town and look around there. So as we're heading up, this is real close to the river where there used to be lots of uh, factories that would go along the river. There was a distillery here at one time. And as I had said in my other video, Hobart was really big. I know over here on the left, um, this little building they used to, looks like now they got insurance in there, but at one point in time there was a company in there that made um, like rafts for uh, whitewater rafting and stuff like that. So that's uh, an area that might still do it, who knows? Maybe they just don't need the, the whole place. And uh, up here, if I recall correctly, here it is. can't see it really well but that's Overfield Tavern um, that's like the oldest house in the town um, I know we've done tours sort of hard to see from where I am but this is 
it's now a museum and you can see it's literally made out of <laughs> logs or timbers you can come and do do tours of it so i'll just keep going on maybe i'll wind up at the uh see if i can get over to the uh bike path and go on there for a little bit so now i'm heading over the bridge the river is off to our right and left it's really really pretty here um, i don't know if i stopped if you can see it but i'll uh head down the bike path and take a little trip on the bike path. So I don't think you can really see it that well, but that's the river over there. Some guys are fishing. And uh, so we'll head down the bike path. Whoa. <laughs> bike path is actually it's really fun I take my grandkids on it quite a bit um, the bike paths pretty big in Ohio um, I think they're trying to connect all of it into different areas but like I can ride my bike all the way from Troy up to Piqua which is about 10 miles and then there is uh, go south gosh you can go all the way down into into Dayton about as far as I've gone is I've taken the grandkids on a we call it an adventure and uh, we've gone to Tip City and we made it where we went and got some ice cream so to see what else we can we can get around to I know if I go so far that I can cover over an old bridge and uh, and uh, get back to town. And I can hear a train coming right now, so it's going to be coming over behind us. I'll take a video of it real quick. son actually just loves trains and uh, if we, ever we get stopped by him he, uh, he just counts them all the cars so I'll just find some other neat things to show you so you might be able to see it a little bit but off to the left here is the Miami Shores golf course and some people are playing golf so they're getting a different type of exercise <laughs> but the bike path is just it's really pretty it's always I think it's along some old railroad tracks or lots of times they do do it over old railroad tracks but uh, it's usually not really a, uh, it's not a hard ride. You know, you're not going over a bunch of, bunch of hills. So, so we'll, uh, we'll just keep going. Just sort of showing you the scenery as, as I go. fast Gotta fix the camera there we go so I just went it down a gigantic hill and got some other riders 
coming. But the bike path goes basically along the river for quite a ways. Um, and uh, it's just pretty, pretty surroundings. It's used quite a bit. As you're seeing, I'm passing quite a bit of people. So it goes like along the river and uh, through a lot of fields, but it's nice also because if it's a hot day, it's not too, uh, too horrible on the bike. I just always think it's neat. Some of the areas you're going through, so just these little alcoves through the trees and uh, little sections where when the river gets high it comes back up through that area it's just such a pretty ride and like I said I think that as we get older we forget about the fun of bike riding and um, sometimes it's hard to find a place to to ride bikes but it's great exercise and uh, it's just fun so here's where I'm gonna start to head back to home so this is a just an old wooden bridge so it's it's sort of neat we're going over the river so you can sort of see the river off there it's hard since I got the GoPro hooked up to the bike but this is just a neat a neat old bridge to go over I'm sure it was a railroad bridge at one time based on how it looks so this uh, this will start to get me back heading back towards home I'm going to stop it here because I'm going to get going back into town. Maybe if we get a lot of likes or comments or views, I'll do a little bit more on other sections of it. But I just thought while I was out, I'd do a quick, quick video. So uh, get out there and ride your bike or do something outdoors. It's good for you. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.